Hello and welcome to another fantastic um, review. A lot of you have been asking about the camera again, the, the Kodak Pix Pro AZ421, bit of a mouthful. And a lot of you have been saying what the quality is like and a few things like that. What's the video footage like? Well, I use this camera quite a lot to be honest. You don't get a case with the camera so always get yourself some kind of hard case that are pretty cheap enough to buy, aluminium case. Um, so you don't get that, you don't, you just get literally the uh, camera in a box and you don't really get any accessories either. You do however get the uh, USB charger because it is a rechargeable battery that's built in which is always a bonus and you also get the plug as well like so. Right. Now I'm not going to go too much detail into the camera because I've covered this before but a lot of people wanted to find out about um, there you go there's your rechargeable battery just in there see and then there's your uh, SD card as well but a lot of people wanted to find out what the quality was like and things like that I've used this camera in the rain pouring down rain and it fits perfectly on the tripod there's the tripod connector here also and uh, someone said this oh my camera's um, constantly making more pictures that or whatever you call it the pictures carry on i can't remember what you call that now so that's the button there you just do you press that and, and what have you right, take the lens off so i have like i said i've used this in the rain i've used it for quite a few of my youtube videos and the picture quality is really decent quality as well and there's your little flash there as well also uh you've got different settings as such there you can scroll through them like this on the uh, scrolling wheel Let's turn it on. There we have it, you see. Oops, all oh, that's in the way. It tells you a bit of information there. And then to zoom, you've got a decent zoom look. Look at that, telephoto lens. Like that, look at that. It's a decent size. Like that. It tells you bits and pieces about the camera. Uh, and then, like I say, when you scroll through, shutter, aperture, manual mode, oh. there you go, see, movie maker, customised settings, auto mode, and if I'm just doing normal videos and stuff like that, I just do auto mode, uh, you can preview your your bits and pieces like that, your, your photos and things. And then to turn it off, you just do this. And that goes in, push the camera down like so. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's uh, anything else that I need to tell you about. It's um, 42 times wide uh, zoom, 24 by 1008 millimeter and uh, it's a really good camera quite weighty and it's not like a, D a dsl camera as such plus if you're only just starting out there you go it says the 42 times zoom wide angle so if you're only just starting out it's quite per it's perfect to be honest if you're just doing youtube etc it's ideal for that and uh, or if you don't want to uh, or if you want to start the hobby of cameras or photography rather and things like that it's perfect for that right so anyway I'm going to show you now on the next bit straight through this now I'm going to show you some of the pictures and some of the video that I've taken now I've taken some from the air show and things like that and you try and follow a fast aeroplane it's pretty difficult so this camera kept up pretty well I think plus I've taken some normal photography scenes as well so if there's anything that you need me to uh, mention about this camera at all, just let me know because there's lots and lots of interest um, and it really is not bad price as well. And you probably get it a bit cheaper now. I think the retail for around, I'd say in between £250 to say £300, I'm not too sure. But they probably go down cheaper because there's new ones coming out all the time. And this is about, I'd say it's about uh, a year and a half old or something like that, maybe two years so obviously there's 
going to be the next generation has probably moved on since then but it really is a good camera if you're just starting out uh, and take really good shots and stuff like that it's ideal especially for the price right um, good for video and it's good for still pictures um, it doesn't have Wi-Fi so it can't send it say to your phone or anything like that so you do have to plug it in the old-fashioned way which you get a cable and you plug it into your computer etc to download the images or you can actually um, use it off the uh, memory card take that out and stick that in your computer right so without further ado hope you enjoy watching this video don't forget to subscribe as well and any questions just drop me a line and i'll answer them the best i possibly can using my trusty manual that you get with it there you go that's got all the answers plus you also get when you buy this camera you also get which is great a warranty card and now like i said i've really abused my camera i have uh i'm waffling on here let's just get on with it i've i've literally used it in the rain and everything and it worked perfectly i put it on the tripod did some videoing and left it and it was absolutely throwing it down i don't really recommend you should do it but i did anyway let's get straight to the videos Good shot, pull it. Give it a look good when it's in the